And I'm going to go over some Arduino code here that I uh, would be willing to share. So what this does is uses an Arduino with a little, uh, I think it's an Adafruit uh, sonic sensor. This is a power supply from a computer inside. The Arduino has an Arduino shield, a relay shield, that connects to the outport, uh, output pins on uh, <clears throat> this Cat5 cable. The Cat5 cable just sends the power to these lights. So this would be red, yellow, and green light, okay? So <clears throat> what happens is when you turn the power, the, the light switch on in the bathroom, it delays 10 seconds and then it starts pulling the sensor and if it sees something in front of the sensor like if you point this towards the toilet seat then it would turn on the red light um, and then after the red light stay is on when you get up and get out of the way of the sensor it goes to the yellow light to give you time to evacuate the stink out of the bathroom if so and it's pulling the sensor every second while the yellow is on so if you sit back down it'll turn the red light back on now, after a preset amount of minutes, it goes to the green light. And if you sit back down during the green light, it toggles back to the red. So, we're going to turn it on, and uh, we'll see. All right, it's on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so there's the green light on. So, it waits 15 seconds. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, I started counting late. So that's the flash to let you know the light is on in the bathroom. Because when you flip the light switch on in the bathroom, that's what actually powers this whole system up. So this will kind of let you know the bathroom door is closed, the light's on, it's been eight minutes or ten minutes that uh, it's evacuated. So now if someone sits down, I'm going to put my hand in front of this, okay? That's the red light. <clears throat> so if someone gets up, I'm gonna move my hand, the yellow light comes on. If they sit back down, the red light comes back on. If they get up, sit down. So I'm just I'm just moving my hand. Okay. So then I've got it set for like one minute. So what it's doing is every second and you can see it in the code right here the for statement right now I've just got it set for 60 seconds and so it goes through this for statement <clears throat> and it looks every time to see if someone's sitting down if they sit down it does a redump and goes to another routine and goes back to the red so <clears throat> at the end of 60 seconds this should go straight to green so right now, this would be like someone got up and they've left the bathroom. The bathroom's smelly inside. So this is the delay time. So if you look across the shop, well, by the way, this light's going in a workshop. So if you look across the shop and you see the yellow light on, someone has stunk up the bathroom and you're waiting for it to clear out. So that 60 seconds now it went to green. When I finish this code, this will be set for like 10 minutes. So while this waits the 10 to 15 seconds before it starts flashing, you can see here on the for statement <clears throat> that it's going to be 600 will be 10 minutes. So I'm going to change this to 600 when I upload the final code. So anyway, this is what I call the Turd Alert 3000. It's going to go in a workshop. Uh, it's going to work a traffic light. And there's about eight guys that work in the shop. And some of the guys uh, have to walk, you know, halfway across the shop just to grab the bathroom door and it's locked. So this kind of helps from people having to walk all the way across back and forth in the shop, grabbing the handle, it's locked, somebody's sitting down taking a dump. So anyway, hope you enjoy it. If you like it, Give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you later.